Therefore, Your Honor, it is our opinion that Mrs. Gibson received all family possessions as well as 50% of financial assets as according to California statutes. All right. The court awards Mrs. Gibson all household assets. And Are of you course, kidding me? She hasn't worked a day since we've been married. Mr. Gibson, please sit down. <clears throat> Sorry. As I was saying, all financial accounts are to be handed over by Mr. Gibson. Therefore, I adjourn this meeting. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you, Your Honor. Wait, that's it? Your Honor, 50% of all Mr. my- Mr. Gibson, we plan on winning in the future. I advise you to move to Texas. Thank you. I appreciate it. Really? I didn't tell you you were my first case. No, you didn't tell me you were my first case. I want to talk about it. Let's just go. I go. Could have gone way better, but oh well. On to the next one. Speaking of the next one, he's actually been waiting quite a while. Oh, who? That tall Hulk guy looking oh, he's long hair. Kind of creepy. I think he's really sexy. Oh. Have fun for me. I'll try. You the lawyer? I am. How can I help you, Sam? Kinda think I need representation. What for? Um I may have poked someone. Poke someone as in Facebook or we talking? If you're offering me, <laughs> no, 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 seriously, no. <laughs> Not like Facebook. No, I don't do stupid shit like that. I mean, like, poke someone. Oh, you stabbed someone. Well, just a few times. Why did you stab someone? Son of a bitch. He spoiled the ending of Game of Thrones. Can you believe that shit? I mean, there's just some things you don't fucking do. He's lucky I only stabbed him a couple of times. I was gonna gun him like a deer, but I've been like trying to walk with Jesus and I don't do that shit no more. Stop him. <laughs> oh yeah, totally not. <laughs> okay, so why are you not in jail right now? Well, uh, I probably should be, but you know. Uh, cops ain't been around yet, so I thought maybe I would come here and talk to you first. I haven't had the best luck with cops, you know what I mean? So, right. thinking outside the box. Can you help me out? Well, I don't see how it could be any worse than being slaughtered in a divorce case. Follow me, big boy. Jimmy, I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much. You did such a great job to get to me. It was very, very easy. Your ex-husband's lawyer, brand new to the legal field, she was not the sharpest bowl of mashed potatoes. <laughs> yeah, that's Andy. It sounds like his type. Always a sucker for a pretty face. Crap. The my cell phone. Did you leave it in the room? That's a very good possibility. I'll go back and check. You go ahead and take the elevator. I'll take the stairs. You go downstairs. I mean, I I can wait for you. Well, uh, you'll be fine. Congratulations. Thank you. You earned every penny. You really want to go there? I can now. I ain't got nothing to lose. Oh, poor Andy. Look on the bright side. You found true love. Oh, this is sweet. Thank you so much for saying that. No, no. Wait for it. 
So how much was the clearance price on this one? I mean, I can tell you how I really feel. Oh my God, what's happening? This is not happening. God, to be kidding me. God. Hey, hello, yeah, um, yeah, we're stuck in the elevator. Can you please hurry? Because I'm stuck here with my ex-wife and my girlfriend. What's so funny? Hello? Can't make that up. What? What'd they say? They said to remain calm and they'll send somebody over to fix it. This is awkward. Yeah, tell me about it. Just lost half my fortune and now I'm stuck in a box. Baby, I'm scared. It's okay. Lord, help me, Jesus. <laughs> I swear to God. Okay, this is not a laughing matter, all right? It's gonna be okay. Everything's gonna be fine. <laughs> I don't know, because this one time I read that this guy got stuck in an elevator and he was stuck in there for six hours and he ate his own foot. <laughs> she, she reads a lot. Yeah, clearly, she's a keeper. Uh, excuse me, Mr. UPS man and uh, pool boy, James at the grocery store, like you never had a real winner yourself? Including you? I'm disappointed to say that I had. And with little Miss Britney Spears over here, exceeding my expectations of just how low you can really go. Okay, for your information, I am not blonde, okay? I am a natural You know what? Blonde. We all know that the curves don't match, match down there, honey. Yeah, yeah, right, 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 right. That's just be civil, okay? Oh. Ten years later? Me, you, her, stuck in an elevator, and all of a sudden you want to be civil? What? Huh? You know, I never noticed that your nostrils flare up when you're angry. I think it's a joke to you. Jesus. Okay, excuse me, but is anybody concerned at all about You know what, you never here? take anything seriously. And then you expect me to sit there and give you respect and happiness? I do, I always have. Then why are we here? Some things just aren't meant to be. Excuse me? Some things are meant. Oh, hell no. Hell no. You wait till 10 years later to tell me this, you asshole. Now I'm really freaking mad at you. I hate you. My God. Okay, guys, we should really not be having this conversation in here. Wow, are you seriously crying? No. These are not tears of heartache, honey. These are tears of anger because I'm so fucking mad at you. You should have said something to me. You should have told me. You should have told me that our marriage wasn't worth anything. I just didn't want to hurt you. Regardless of the situation, Andy, you should have said something. Like, oh yeah, great. Yeah, I want all these memorable possessions about our past, but I don't have you. I want all these memories that are gonna haunt me forever based on some false marriage. Thank you. Hello, is that okay? No! Open the goddamn door! Help us! Please be patient, ma'am. We'll have a running in a moment. Wait, did you just call me ma'am? Rude. Okay, I know the two of you have your problems and all, but everything has to move on, okay? You know what, Jessica? Just keep it to yourself. I am not Jessica, okay? I am Carmen. Carmon. Carmon. Whatever. Linda, look. What can I say? In the beginning, we did have that. We were perfect. It was just you and I. It was amazing. Just the funny thing is, I didn't think... You know what? I... I don't believe you. I don't believe anything that you have to say anymore. I don't believe anything. And I hope you know what you're getting yourself into, because the next time you're stuck in an elevator, it's going to be with him and the next flavor of the month. Oh, trust me. I doubt it. <laughs> oh, my God. She needs a shot of Jesus. And maybe okay. you need to give her That's her enough, her Lydia. Ear, fill up her That's head. That's enough. And you know what? One other thing. You know, if it's been 10 years that he wrecked our marriage, what makes you think that he's not going to do the same thing to you? Linda. I trust him. <laughs> Funny. That's what I said. Okay, that's enough. Don't worry, sport. I don't think she gets the hint. I'm not going to apologize for what I did. I wouldn't expect you to. It's the fifth floor. Yeah, I'm done with this ride. I'm going to go take the stairs. No regrets? Of course. Stairs.
see you around. Cool. Goodbye.